What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the different landscape material options within Lumion and how you can add rocks, grass, and other things using those materials. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is another one of Lumion's default models. And uh, so these are really great examples. And so I like using these because you can use them as well and kind of follow along. Everybody has them, so they're great examples the way things can work. So the first thing I always do in these is when I first come in, there's a ton of plants and other stuff like that. What I like to do, because if you look up here, this is rendering two, or 24 million 3D points right now, and uh, you can see how my frame rate's pretty low, even for my computer, which is a really nice computer. That's just because this is rendering so much stuff. And so what I like to do first is I like to take all of these plants, which are really realistic and they're great to have, and I like to put them on their own layer so I can turn them off. And so the way that I do that is I come down here to move mode, and then I click on context menu. And I just mouse over one of these plants. It doesn't really matter which one, and I click on this point. I go to selection, and I do select all objects in category. You can see how in this case what that did is that selected all of the landscape objects in here, so the trees and everything else. And I'm just going to go up to layer 3, and I'm going to click on the number 3. Then I'm going to go over and I'm going to click the button for move selection to layer. And now, I can click the little I and turn those off. So now we can kind of get a look at this without having to worry about having all that stuff in the background. So I should probably do a quick tip video about that um, instead of just burying it in here because it's a lot easier on your computer um, when you do that. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at the material options within Lumion. And so in order to do that, you're gonna go, or not the material, but the landscape material options. So in order to do that, you're gonna come over here on the left-hand side of your screen and you're gonna click on landscape. When you click on landscape, you're gonna go down and you're gonna click the button for paint. And so when you click the button for paint, you're gonna get multiple different options in here. And uh, those options are basically the options that you have for adjusting things or adjusting materials within Lumion. And so the first thing I want to point out is only one of these is driving where the grass is. So you notice this first texture, or this first material, if I mouse over it, um, you can see how there's a little grass icon right here, and it also says assign grass to this slot. So basically the way that this works is Lumion only adds grass to one material type. It doesn't add it to all the different material types. So you can see how as I click on this, um, this is placing the grass on different material or landscape materials within Lumion. So you kind of need to pick which one you want the grass to show up on. In this case, I'm gonna select the button for assign grass to this slot. And remember, you can turn grass on and off by coming over here to grass and just uh, clicking the on and off button. And you can add flowers and other things in there as well. We'll talk about that in a future video. I'm gonna turn that off for just a second, um, just so it's easier on my computer again. But just note that when I turn that on, that grass is gonna get applied to whatever material I have assigned grass to that slot. And so basically what you can do in here is you can adjust the different materials um, and you can place different materials using your brush in this model. So you can see how there's a grass material that's been applied right here. Well, if I click and hold my mouse, you can see how I can paint this in with a new grass material. So instead of that being that kind of rocky material that it was before, it now shows up as the grass. And if you zoom in, you'll notice that this is like a tiling image that's going on in here. And so one thing I wanna note about that tiling image is you can actually adjust the size of that image and the way it's getting tiled um, by clicking and dragging this button right here for tile size. So you can see how you can make that super big, which doesn't look really realistic, or you can make it a lot smaller. You can do that for any of these different materials depending on which one's selected. So this one right here, I think is this um, this rock material. And so if I click and drag this, you can see how I can adjust the tile size of the image that's getting tiled on there. So that's really easy to adjust as well. But you can basically come in here and add different materials wherever you want. You can see how I can, if I wanted this to be more rocky, I could click and paint that on there. And notice that when I do that, if I turn my grass back on, that grass is going away in the area where I'm painting that uh, rock material. 
So you can see as I paint this over, that goes away. So you can use this to adjust where the grass is in your model. You can kind of be strategic about the way that that works. And you can also, so all of these are different materials that you can apply in here. And so you can see how I can apply this kind of sand material, all that different stuff. And you also have different brush sizes in here where you can adjust the size of the brush that's getting applied in here. So let's say you wanted the, the top of this whole hill to get colors you can adjust both the brush size which that's a little bit too big you can also adjust the brush speed which is the speed at which that material gets applied so you can see how as I click and apply this it doesn't apply very quickly but if I was to turn my brush speed up you can see how you can apply that material really fast so this can be really good for really quickly applying materials inside your Lumion rendering and you can also pick different material types by clicking this edit type and so these are all of your preset material types in here. So you can have four of these at once and you can see how if I wanted these American stones over here I could select that and then just apply that material to this face. That doesn't look super realistic. I'll probably go back to the grass in just a second. But you can see how you can, you can find these different materials and apply them using these brushes. And so you can either pick your own materials in here. Notice how um, anywhere this material has been applied, that's going to adjust to whatever I select. So in this case, if I select like this Thailand rock, it's going to switch to that. Um, so you can either set those individually or there's another cool option in here. If you click on choose landscape, what choose landscape allows you to do is that allows you to set the kind of materials that are in your model. It's basically allowing you to set like a... Uh, Eh, let's pick a better one than that. Let's pick the snowy one. It's basically allowing you to set almost like a climate type. So what it does is all it's really doing is it's just adjusting the different materials in here and it's picking different materials to apply in here. But these presets allow you to really quickly change. These presets allow you to really quickly change just the whole environment around what you're trying to do. So you can do desert, you can do green grass, you can do a lot of different things. So what I like about this is just it's so easy to make these changes and come in here and adjust these based on whatever you want. And then the last option I want to talk about is the ability to adjust the side rock. So if you look back in the distance um, on this hill, if you remember, you can set Lumion. So if something's too steep, um, the vegetation no longer shows on it. Well, this allows you to set what material is in there instead. So like, for example, if I was to adjust this type, to maybe something more like this Europe rock, you can see how this material is going to adjust based on that. So you can adjust your side rock type depending on what you want this to look like. And you can also click and drag this slider to adjust the size of the material that's being applied to that face. So you can get a variety of different looks depending on what you set that slider to. You can also turn your side rock on and off. Um, so if you don't want the side rock to show up in the distance, you can turn that off as well. It's just really easy to make these changes in Lumion. I really love that about this program. It's just, it makes everything so easy to adjust and make things look the way you want them to look. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you using this? Do you like these features in Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. Um, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.